Back with the mirror intro, got the mic turned around for the extra sauce, that way you guys can hear me properly. I was watching this new Mbappi music video. They used the Ultimate Texture Bundle V2 in this video. I wanna show you guys, hop down here. The vlog intros are back. Also, check this out. Jake Sauce sticker on my MacBook. <laughs> Future! But you get the idea, it's used throughout the music video, it has really good flow, and they use the pack in a unique and interesting way by kind of stacking the paper and making the images kind of seem big. It's kind of hard to explain, I'm gonna show you in the tutorial on the computer, uh, that way you guys can get the sauce. I don't think you guys have seen the office from this perspective, but the first thing you see when you walk in is the shake sauce rug, so fire. I'm gonna put these for pre-order on my website right now. They're super limited, they're like three and a half foot long by like two and a half, I think, wide. I'll have the exact specs and everything. They're hand tufted and uh, created by another music video editor, his company, so super fire. You're supporting a local brand when you get it, as well as me. But yeah, like I said, super limited on these rugs. I'll do a full announcement when they're actually out, but if you wanna pre-order, order and reserve a rug definitely go hit the link in the description but yeah i got a few rugs and some toys and stuff here i'll do a full office tour in the future it's kind of my desk setup and we got something behind me with the mirror what's up you can see i kind of already started breaking it down because it's so fire but yeah let's start the tutorial so i normally do all the texture effects and stuff in photoshop it kind of seemed like they used just a basic video editor to do these effects because there's slight imperfections but when effects come in this fast and everything it doesn't really matter that's one thing i've kind of realized that i faulted on in the past with using photoshop Photoshop, it is always cool to get like the perfect texture with like transition, but it does take a little bit more time. So I'm gonna show you the sauce and how to do it really quickly. And also you can do this in any editing software. So I wanna give you guys a better look at the transitions that I was talking about. So this is one of them here. And then another one here is the ones that are actually done in the music video. And here are my versions, this one right here. And then this one right here. I think it's very similar in style. I always like breaking down and kind of downloading the videos of people that use my editing packs because they use them in ways that that I don't think about, which is cool because it kind of makes me rethink about the different possibilities and ways you can use stuff. So moving forward, I'm probably gonna use the texture pack this way a decent amount because it's way faster than I normally do. So whenever I'm using paper transitions throughout my videos, I like to go through and just take a bunch of screenshots from the video. That way I have a lot to choose from when I'm actually making the transition. So I went ahead and just went through the whole video and I ended up getting 24 screenshots. You don't even need that many. We're probably gonna be using maybe 10. But to do that, if you're not familiar, just take a screenshot and then I always just import back into the project and name it like one through whatever numbers you're going through. And then I also imported the rips and folds from the ultimate texture bundle V2. I'll have that link down below. Go snag that. It's crazy to me that it's still being used in projects in unique and interesting ways and major projects too, which is so sick. I think it's about time that we work on ultimate texture bundle V3. I got some really cool ideas that weren't in V1 or V2. We'll talk about it. I haven't even started it yet. So what I did is I cut the clip where their transitions are and I'm just going to replace them with my version. So this first transition they did is really, really Really simple. It's literally four photos, one background, and then three pop up from left to right, kind of on a diagonal going down, and then have some paper textures pop in front. So let's make our version and drag in our still frame of future. And I think this is probably about like 12 to 13 frames. It doesn't matter exactly how specific you get with it. That's what makes it unique, adding your own different lengths. Then going to the rips and folds, I'm going to use the exact same paper texture just to show you that it is the ultimate texture bundle. I know sometimes in the comments, people are like, how do you know? How do you know? Uh, it's because I spent hours and hours literally ripping paper. So uh, here, look at this. This is the paper texture on our image. And then there's the paper texture on theirs, right? I didn't line it up perfectly, but when I toggle it on and off, it's uh, pretty dead center lined up. It's like, you know, a little bit off, but yeah, that's how I know when you spend hours and hours ripping paper, you kind of just know how they look. <laughs> so then let's go ahead and just get some other stills of future. I like this number two here. And then the technique they used was kind of like using photos, but since we don't have photos, we can just use crop and kind of make it look like it's a photo. So just kind of crop it up like that and click on motion and then drag it to our top left here. And then just drag that to last the whole time because it doesn't, you don't want it to go away. And then I'm going to cut the paper texture around three to four frames right when we want to introduce that next image. So let's go ahead and find a still of future that we like. I think this one's cool of him sipping out the red solo. Again, just dragging crop on here, cropping it to our liking and put in it right there. And then let's go ahead and find another paper texture. Now for this part, I'm gonna use my own and not use the exact same ones so I can create a little bit more unique of a transition. And then let's go a few frames forward, snag another still of future. And one thing I noticed is even though the layers were coming in in a specific order, they kind of stacked the images in a unique way. So you can, by changing the video track, the layers on, you can kind of 
you can see how I hit it behind, or if you drag it above, it's gonna be above, obviously. There's just cool, unique ways of kind of stacking it and making it look a little bit more refreshing. And then I'm gonna cut the paper texture here, and let's introduce like two other paper textures before it ends, making sure that the blending mode is on screen for the paper textures. And then let's do a one last one at the end here, and this one looks cool. I like scaling it up so we see the edges a little bit, but maybe not all of them. So then when we play that, we got a clean transition. If you can see in their transition, they have like this cool filter or whatever, and the photos are a little bit brighter. A way you can achieve that kind of look is you can drag a tint on to one of your images. And then for example, you could go to like orange and then just blend it how you want. And then you can also use Lumetri color to maybe make it a little bit brighter because it is a little dark. They actually had photos in there. So they had nice flashes and the subjects were illuminated a little bit more. So we can kind of artificially do that by using exposure in Lumetri color. So let's just copy that that Lumetri color to all of our images. That way they're just a little bit brighter and kind of stand out more. Like always, you can add grain, you can add different tints, you can add different effects to these images. The general concept is that right there. Now it's time to break down the second transition. This one's my favorite because it kind of uses the scale of images differently. You can see between these two frames kind of how future is a little bit bigger here and then goes down. And they do that throughout and kind of cut the images with the folds of the paper. And I haven't really seen it be done like this. It just adds an extra illusion of like stacking paper or ripping it. Let's pick a picture and make it last like two to three frames. And then let's bring in a paper texture. For this one, if you do want to split the image and scale it up, I will recommend having a paper texture that kind of has a line throughout. That way it'll just help hide that illusion. And then all you really want to do is just line up one side of the image kind of where you want it to be. So I want to make sure their faces are in frame and then holding alt on our keyboard and dragging up will allow you to duplicate the image. And then let's just kind of scale it down here like this. So there's now two of them and we can go ahead and use the crop effect. And then I'm going to zoom out to 50 just so we can see a little bit better. And then just using the pen tool, in the crop effect, go around, turn it to invert, and then slide the left to 100%. That way it kind of erases it. And now you can see it's split into two different images and it kind of looks like it's ripped on that piece of paper where it's split. In their example, they just flip the image upside down, which is also a cool use. You can kind of do whatever you really want. Here, they kind of just went to a more basic image with just a paper texture on top. So we could do something similar, go a few frames forward, and then just find a paper texture that we like, scale to frame size and right to screen. And then here they kind of introduce that scale effect. So let's go ahead and do that as well bring this to two frames and then find a paper texture again the lines are kind of necessary for this when you scale it differently so let's go ahead and find a paper texture like this use screen and then duplicate the photo layer and let's drag a future kind of right here like that and then let's go ahead and use that crop effect and then to sell the illusion of making it kind of like pop in and out, you wanna use the same photo for double the length. So for example, we were doing two frames at a time. So now let's make it last four, but remove the scaled up version, this one right here. So it kind of looks like it pops down. Probably even use the same paper texture like this. So it kind of pops down like that. Or you could bring in a new paper texture like this and it just cuts the same image, but a different paper texture. It's all about just getting creative. And then they do the same thing again, but reverse this time. They actually have it start with a not scaled in and then go out. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but reverse. So instead of starting it scaled in and then cutting out, I'll have it scaled out and then scale in here. So to do that, let's bring up future, put them in the center over here using that crop effect, crop out the edges. Now you can see how it kind of scales up like that. Super clean. I really like the way that looks. And then let's finish it out kind of similar to how they did. So they have it split in two and then go to one image cool use of kind of making a still last a little bit longer. Typically when I do like the paper rips and stuff, I only make them last like two to three frames. But if you kind of scale it differently and use different paper textures, you can make a still probably last four to, I don't know, probably like 10 frames if you did it cool. Let's go ahead. And since they did that flip upside down at the start, let's do it here or something just so I can show you how to do it. So basically just turn the rotation, find where you want, go to the crop effect. And there you go. This is their transition that they came up with and then ours that is heavily inspired by theirs right there. Yeah, that's the tutorial. Uh, I'll have the texture pack linked down below as well as the Shake Sauce rugs that are on pre-order right now. So definitely go cop that. If you want a Shake Sauce rug, I would go and pre-order it because I don't know if I'm ever gonna restock them. They're super limited. Each one's gonna come with handwritten note by me, some Shake Sauce stickers that you saw on my laptop, as well as like a Shake Sauce bottle. This isn't exactly what it's gonna look like, but uh, somehow my turn blue, yours won't turn blue. I added this weird gum stuff in here and I think that's what made it turn blue. But yeah, if you get the rug, you'll get a bottle that's not blue, it'll be green and I probably have a different label on here. And then you also get a Shake Sauce sticker or two. Yeah, I don't know, it's a cool thing. 
thing. It's my first time ever venturing into anything physical, really. It's more so for the people that really, really want to support. They are a little bit more on the pricey side. Like I said, they're created hand tufted by a company that also in the music video scene, Kyler uh, Bolomi, I think is how you say his name. Anyways, he works with like internet money and stuff a decent amount. And he has a company called Only Rugs where they make hand tufted custom rugs like that. So I went ahead and chose to support a music video director and spend a little bit extra cash on the rugs and get a little higher quality. I think it's cool to keep it like local and in the community. And because they are expensive, if it's not an absolute yes for you, just go get an editing pack or something instead. I would much rather you spend your money on something that's gonna help you level up yourself as a creator than spend money on a rug. So just watching the videos and everything is more than enough support. I really do appreciate everyone. If you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to do that because I keep you guys up to date with things like the process of the rugs. Like I said, they're on the way to my apartment right now. So if you pre-order now, they should be shipped out relatively soon. As soon as I get them and I can send them out personally, uh, they will be sent out to you guys. Also, I keep you guys up to date with the things like we've been streaming on YouTube every single Friday at like 5 p.m. Central Standard Time-ish. And for the last five or six weeks, we've been doing a weekly video editing contest. Basically, the best music video set submitted to the stream at the end of the stream wins editing pack as well as a shout out on my story and also with every submission you get to spin at this wheel for the chance to win shake sauce make me take a shot so if you haven't stopped by you don't even know about them be sure to follow me on instagram because i'm going to keep you up to date with where i'm going to be streaming it's either going to be on youtube or on twitch every single friday so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video peace